Gary, a G300, and you didn't tell us? Well, there has to be some secrets in this world, Jim. Yeah, but not from us. <laughs> no, uh, the uh, G300 is a uh, clean sheet design, and uh, we're uh, uh, wanting to uh, keep some of the uh, architecture and what we're up to there uh, in the back for the time being. One of the things I was talking to Jack about a little bit, this is an iPod generation. We have to try to find a way to make aircraft attractive to a younger generation that have been brought up with video iPods and are used to screens instead of instruments. And boy, does this do the trick. It's a beautiful cockpit. Uh, the G300 uh, obviously is a, a, a very good uh, placekeeper, so to speak, for LSA and moving on up the ladder. Uh, if you would, can you talk a little bit about the methodologies and what you plan to put into it uh, within the limits of what you're willing to say? <laughs> well, obviously, it's, uh, it's glass. Uh, there is a, uh, there's two options for it. One, or the standard is the uh, one, uh, one piece of glass with a split PFD and MFD, mm -hmm. and then the other option is with uh, uh, two standalone pieces of glass, a PFD and an MFD. Now, as you can well imagine, there are uh, lots of things we can do with glass. There's really uh, not much of a limitation there, just what, what we want to implement. And uh, you'll see an array of the moving maps and uh, different elements there that you would expect from Garmin. And as I understand, you're going to be able to pipe in XM? Uh, yes, we will be able to pipe in XM. Time to boogie. Yes, sir. Aero TV is brought to you by... Cirrus aircraft have always been easy to fly. Now they're easier than ever to buy. A complete line of ownership programs gives you everything you need to purchase, trade, finance, lease, insure, and warranty your Cirrus. There's even an ownership program for non-pilots. The Cirrus Access Pilot can teach you how to fly or fly the plane for you. Find out more at www.cirrusdesign.com. Cirrus, for the love of flying. Now, back to Aero TV. Well, with the tremendous placement that you've been able to put in Cessna products from the 172 on up, now the incredible cockpit you did for the Mustang, just one of the sweetest I've seen. My Mustang flight was 0-0 practically from, well, we had, a, we had 200 and a quarter mile for a little while, and then it went down to the to zilch and off we went and I felt entirely comfortable in that cockpit with my situational awareness. You guys have done a wonderful job in making cockpits work and more important the methodologies necessary for a system to be immediately transparent to the pilot. What do you bring to an LSA? Well I, I think there's several things we bring. Uh, one what you had previously been describing there is a, uh, uh, a wonderful glass system to the low-end training marketplace that is so desperately needed. Aero TV is brought to you by... Today, there is an affordable, high-performance, easy-to-own and easy-to-operate very light jet designed with you in mind. Far less expensive than any other twin-engine jet to buy, it is also the least expensive to own and operate. It is the Eclipse 500. The jet that's easy to buy, easy to fly, and fun to own. The jet for you. Now, back to Aero TV. And uh, Garmin believes strongly that uh, the LSA is so necessary to help us bring ourselves up. It's our last hope, I would happen to say, for this marketplace. And finally, the G300 to G1000 transition, is this, has this system been built in such a way as to ease that transition and bring people into, quote unquote, bigger and better things? Absolutely. Uh, I would not say that the operating system is uh, uh, similar to the G1000. It is different, mm -hmm. but uh, the architecture of the operating system and the MFD and PFD is very similar in nature of what you would expect out of a glass cockpit. Gary, thanks so much for your time. You're welcome, Jen.